and as you can see here pretty jammed up traffic they're not quite honking and getting uh, super irritated like they will in an hour or two but uh, it's what it is it's pretty crazy really uh, would love to see the city not have any motor vehicles allowed it would certainly make for a much more pleasant environment overall And again, you get a sense as to just how fast people move in the cycle paths here. It's much, much more aggressive, much quicker than uh, what I'm used to, <laughs> having spent uh, two and a half, three weeks in the Netherlands. You also see aggressive drivers pushing the situation. when we have the red light, or excuse me, even when we have the green light, the go ahead, they, uh, they don't seem to care. pedestrian area here. And you look at the just the crush of the number of people, pedestrians, people in the area. It's really quite extraordinary. It's about 3.20 in the afternoon. Folks are on a Friday, so folks are uh, off work. Getting off of work. Short day, maybe. This is kind of the theater district area. We're just coming out of the theater district area. Um, so there's lots of cultural institution stuff here. So. And again. Weaving through the cars. So far, it's been pretty tame compared to last night when it was really, really insane. But again, we're just getting started into the traffic 
into the gridlock period. You can just get a, an idea as to the mass of people in the area and just how really advantageous it is to have transformed this space into cycling space, into a more pedestrian space, and uh, really taking, taking the lanes away from the cars, and they need to do that in the rest of the city. And you can hear we've got a bus coming up behind us on the right. And I'm gonna swing around and take a U-turn here before we get too much further. Don't really need to go all the way down this stretch. We shot this yesterday. Wanna catch part of the Rue de Rivoli that we didn't see yesterday. So we're gonna do a U-turn here. On your mark, get set, you turn. There's a little bit of anticipation of the bike light changing with uh, the LPI and the leading pedestrian interval we do see a few people salmoning against us they don't realize they have their own lane over there so and now we're into the narrower section of the rue de rivoli so we lost our super wide section a little bit crazier here a massive building not sure which building that is but it's pretty impressive that's for sure all dressed up for the uh, holiday season this looks like a big department store Looks like we're back to our uh, separated, wide separated infrastructure for the bikes once again. So a full lane. So we just had that one little section that was narrow going past that uh, cultural institution, that big building, and then also the uh, large department store. This is the farthest down this way I have been on this new installation. Super cool to see that it continues down in this direction. And without a doubt, the feeling over here on the Rue de Rivoli compared to Sebastopol is uh, it's much more relaxed. You certainly don't feel like you have to push hard in this environment. You just kind of pedal. It's not a race. And you can see we've got some uh, kids 
cycling home from school. She's doing a great job. An older gentleman with his dog in the front basket. So again, when you build all ages and abilities, facilities, all modes, here's a rollerblader, uh, it just becomes that much more inviting and welcoming to everybody. So it's like you get more riders because you're creating an environment that is is safe for everybody. And that's really what it's all about. Another Brahmi. Lots of Bromptons here. The Brompton family is strong. A couple more boys coming home from school. We do see quite a few uh, cargo delivery folks. The DOT, D-O-T-T, -T, cargo bikes. Seen many of those. And again, we see many of the uh, bike share system bikes, the Vlieb, that are being that are being ridden by uh, locals, just uh, getting to, to work, getting about town, doing their daily needs, chores, etc., errands. It's super cool to see. far from the Guerre de Lyon. In Bastille. Let's see what this looks like. like we make our way around Place de Bastille by this little interior cycle track. Again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. <laughs>